Touch my bass! What's up, folks? Welcome <coughs> back. Welcome to the newest, latest edition to Captain Bill and Big Shot Joe Watch, watch a, a movie. movie. That's right. We are back with another review of a. Uh, unknown, maybe you know, hokey, yeah, yeah, lesser known uh, comedy movie. Something, another little gem we dug out of my 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 collection, twisted this, sick collection. This time we got Jenny McCarthy's Dirty Love, unrated, the unrated version. Yep, yep, yes, Jenny McCarthy, two thousand and five. Behind every good woman are a lot of bad men. Sometimes a girl has to get a little down and dirty before she can find pure love. In the slapstick comedy Dirty Love, Jenny McCarthy is gorgeous, goofy, and gross all at once. In this <laughs> yeah. hilarious take on one woman's chaotic quest for true love. It's a knowing, funny, trashy, guilty pleasure. In the spirit of your favorite gross-out comedies, only this time, it's through the eyes of one of America's cover girls, Jenny McCarthy. Rebecca, Jenny, his character in the movie, is devastated when she comes home one night and finds Richard, played by Victor Webster, her boyfriend, her supermodel boyfriend, engaged in acrobatics with another woman in their bed to mend her broken heart. She takes a strange and wild trip of funny dating encounters with the help of a bossy psychic and her offbeat friends. Rebecca finds that the path to true love is right in front of her. So, true love, dirty love, oh, is what we got for you tonight. Very interesting movie. Joey, you got some uh, some details on there? I do. So the director of the film was John Asher. Um, the movie was actually written by Jenny McCarthy. Yes, it was. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, the cast, of course, Jenny McCarthy, uh, Eddie K. Thomas. A lot of you guys know him as the guy who got to Thanks. sleep Stifler's with his mom. mom. Yep, yes, yep, yep. American Pie. Yep, yep. He was shit brick, as uh, Stifler would call him. Yes. And uh, the one and only Finch. Car Finch, that's right. And Carmen Electra, and the asshole boyfriend was Victor Webster. So, that's what I got. Yeah. So, what'd you think of uh, Dirty Love? <laughs> it was uh, it was a raunchy, hilarious, hokey comedy. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It tickled me at times. <laughs> you know, I was I was reading some of the reviews by some of the the you know. The big time guys, the New York Times, Roger Ebert, and they loved it, guys. right? No, they did not. They, they hated it, but that means it's pretty damn funny. Yeah, it does. Typically, if those guys hate a movie, it means it's something I'm going to enjoy the hell out of. And um, they're right, because this one made me laugh. It, it made me laugh. Um, um, I, I will tell you, this movie gave me a new appreciation for Maxi Pets. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, you know everyone is you know everyone's seen the the movies you know the the sex scenes in movies where they were used food you know with cherries and whipped creams and chocolate syrups and bananas and got all this other stuff. But uh, I promise you, this is only an R-rated yeah. movie. It's not a. It's not they, a. Not a porno. They go in a different direction with this one. Um, involving uh, fresh fish. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, you'll see. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't give too much away. But uh, <laughs> touch my bass. <laughs> touch my bass. Touch my bass. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll see. You you you'll see. It's when the time is right, you will know what that saying funny. is. 
Yes, what do you think of Carmen Electra, her character, throughout oh the Oh my god, season? she can pull off a ghetto white oh, girl yeah, any day yeah, of the week. Yeah. She her, pulled that off perfectly. Her, her best friend, she works, you know, she does waxing. <laughs> At a salon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not, and we ain't talking about eyebrows. <laughs> and it's magic, magical? Or how so, do you say uh, mag? Yeah, so she's her, but yeah, she's... Magical. She's every ghetto fabulous... <laughs> Um, yeah, one of the guys that uh, Jenny goes on a date with um, is is he was hmm. he was it from Days and Confused. Uh, uh, God, man, I can't remember his one. Half baked. Or um, yeah, half baked. Excuse me, not Days and Confused. Yeah, he was. They his... were Days and Confused while in there because they he were was the baked. Hispanic gentleman. Yeah, hmm. Cuban B. Cuban B. I'm Cuban B. Yeah. He uh he plays one of the guys she goes on a date with a uh <laughs> a wannabe it's magical. magician. <laughs> That's what he would say. It's magical. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's uh he's rather odd. <laughs> yep. To say um, the least. Little fun fact, not to bring up Trailer Park Boys again, but one of the guys that hits on her in the movie, for those of you that watch Trailer Park Boys, J Rock. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Uh, All right, but anywho, easy he's Carmen. in that film, huh? Who easy Carmen? Carmen Electra. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> so um. No, yeah, he goes. Know what I'm saying? That's that's his gimmick. Anyways, Eddie K. Thomas character. He's uh, you know, he he's Jenny McCarthy's best friend, and yeah, well, works for her too. Works for her. Yeah, his best friend, and the you know, he's he's you know your typical. Your, your typical, you know, type, you know. In the friend zone. Movie like that. Yeah, exactly, you know. And best friends, and, you know, and she just, he's, a, you know, he's he, he's obviously, it's, you know, it's, it's it appears right from the start that he's got some feelings for her, cares about her deeply. Oh, yeah. You know, and she and don't he, see it because she's just, she he's keeps in dating, the friend zone. She keeps dating as this asshole after asshole. But, I mean, luckily for us, because that's where the comedy ensues. Yeah. Yes. Yes, the whole uh, go with shopping for some maxi pad scene. Is... Yeah, like I said, I have a whole new appreciation for women oh, when it comes to that. I'm telling you guys. It's worth a watch. Dirty love. For, for a random... Hey, you'll enjoy it. If you like Jenny McCarthy and and you know just that that goofball slapstick type you she, know and, and comedy I, yeah oh yeah and I said this to you before she reminds me of like a female Jim Carrey the just her mannerisms and how she does the hokey dorky comedy you know like the making the weird faces and just the yeah. most the most ridiculous stuff you know what I mean. How Jim Carrey used to do so. In fun fact, you know they were together for a while. Yeah, you know. We all know. So do you think like he used to use like, like some of his sayings from his movie? Like, alrighty then. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> like a glove. Yeah. I mean, listen, if you're a chick and you're dating Jim Carrey, have fun with it. You know. Yeah, man. <laughs> How did you get to have sex with Ace Ventura? Or the mask? You know, or, yeah, or, or the mask. Or was it or the a, yes man? Um, you know, the guy from, you wanted to... Man over know, the moon. Uh, uh, the Andy the Cable Kaufman. guy, you know? Cable I mean, guy? You can have him be all these characters, and it's, it's like you're dating, you know, a dozen guys. The password is... <laughs> <laughs> you England the clam chowder. The red or the white? <laughs> oh, yeah, password. Yeah, cable guy. Well, we are so, but it, it, you know what? That's the thing. Anyways, Jim Carrey yeah, is amazing. But anyways. That's that, yeah, that's that <laughs> type of comedy. You know, that you just, know what? And how we were talking about the whole let's pick an actor and pick one obscure movie. We got to pick one for Jim Carrey, man. Yeah. He's definite. Once bitten. We'll do his first, <laughs> his first major movie. <laughs> But, uh, but anyways, yeah, back to Dirty Love, he, man. Yeah, like you said, it's, it's, it's good. It keeps, you know, it's, it's, 
you know, I mean, you, it keeps you laughing. Yeah, you, you, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. It's a fun movie, you know. It's that's it. You know, you got good-looking women. Yeah, well, you do have nudity. There are yeah, boobies. Yeah, there, there are, are you boobies. See some boobs, some Jenny McCarthy boobs. Yep, yep, yep. You know, um, yeah, man. You know, it's a, you know, you're laughing. You, you, you know, hot girls. You can't go wrong with it. No, you can't. I enjoyed it. it I haven't seen it in uh, hell. It's been years since I watched this movie last. I've never seen it, so. But, but as soon as I started watching it again, I was remembering parts, and I, I and had Bill, me laughing. Bill would look at me and say, "Wait for it, wait for it. It's coming up." And then I hear, "Touch my bay, <laughs> my bass." <laughs> Touch my bass. Again, a lot of times, right? You watch the movie; know. it'll all make sense. You, and you will laugh. You will laugh. And then you will say... You will cringe. We understand why. And you why. will laugh. Because it is a disturbingly funny part. <laughs> and it's not that far into the movie, so... Yeah. You give it like five, ten minutes, bro, you're there. Yeah, it's... <coughs> I, yeah. <laughs> so would you recommend this movie to people? Absolutely. That is a big shot, Joe. Absolutely approval. Um, I reckon <laughs> you crack me up, man. <laughs> so this week's movie snacks were uh, Doritos. of the Cool Ranch variety. That's right. So, eh. excuse me, guys. It's one twenty-three in the morning. All right. So. What I was saying was, Dirty Love, right? It's a good film. You guys should check it out. Yeah. Um, I honestly, I did enjoy it. Um, like Bill was saying, it's got the sex appeal with the women. It's got that gruesome, raunchy comedy. You know, a lot of sex references, which is funny when yeah, you get yeah. that comedy. Whoa, 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 hold on. Stop. Stop what we're doing. Real quick. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, yeah. Give this video a thumbs up. Mm hmm. Tap that bell icon. Like he said. So. Yeah, you get. Hey. Hey, there you go. Oh, yeah, we're talking to you. Okay. Mm hmm. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Now, back to it. Back to it. So, well, now we're on a rating of five popcorn buckets. Yep. Five buckets of popcorn. I'm going to go ahead and pick first this time. All right, go ahead. How do you feel about that, sir? Because it made me laugh, because of the hokey, silly, ridiculous comedy, and because of who was in the movie, I'm going to give it a 3.5 for me. Whoa, 3.5? With extra butter. He went 3.5. Compliments of Boston Mark. With extra butter. 3.5 buckets. Three and a half buckets of buttery the, delicious popcorn. With the extra, or extra butter. So, before you give your rating, though, you know what I noticed this movie didn't have? You know. Go ahead. Tell them. You got to do it. No. I don't have to do it all the time. A you twist. can do it. <laughs> I can't do it like Bill does. A twist. A twist. So, yeah, no twist in this movie, but uh, um, if you smoke weed, you guys would probably enjoy it because it seems like some stoners would like. So. Oh, yeah, it's definitely uh, 420 friendly. <laughs> so. Now, Carmen Electra's character is smoking throughout the movie, so. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, three and a half, huh? What do you think? I think I like that number. I think that's a good number, yeah. Right? Three and a half. I can do three and a half. I'm saying. The cast was good, you know? Mm-hmm. They had it had sex appeal. 
It gave you a good laugh. You see Jenny McCarthy's boobs. I mean, that in itself. I mean, it's worth watching just for that. Johnny Wahlberg, you are a lucky man. I'm married, so... Well, keep eating the Doritos, Joey. <laughs> so, dirty love. Highly Check recommend. Check it out. You'll like it, I think. You know, if you like that kind of comedy, I said, like if you don't like that zany, you know, witty, goofball type slapstick comedy, parody, you're not going to like this movie. If you don't like Jenny McCarthy, probably won't like this movie. But if you don't mind Jenny McCarthy and that, sort of, be and that sort of comedy you enjoy, definitely check it out. You know, so again, um, you know, like I said, this is something we took from my personal collection of movies. His sick, twisted collection of movies. Yeah. Um, I don't know what goes on in that head, man. If you got any ideas, <laughs> again, man, let us let us know. Give us, give us, you know, give us some some thoughts. Give us some ideas. I mean, we got a handful of other movies. Mm-hmm. We got a little queue of movies, you know, kind of pulled up that uh, we're gonna select from to watch and and review. So, but. Do you know of something? Mm -hmm. Something comes to your mind? Again, you know, we're not looking to do those, you know, the, the, the super popular ones. Everybody the else, ev everyone else is doing those. I think by now our fans are starting to learn. Yeah. They're going for the obscure we stuff. We just, that, so. that, that one off, that off the wall, that, you know, something you... You may, never not, knew may not have heard of or forgot all about. You remember it from, uh, I remember that. I mean, you, you may remember what I, you see it dirty like, I remember hearing about that in, in 2005 when it came out, but this was 15 years ago. So. Right. I'm sorry, I'm loving these Doritos, brother. I yeah, just been letting you take the wheel. He's. Firing on all cylinders there. Mm-hmm. You're my favorite Dorito. How about that? Mm-hmm. Doritos. And you know what they were good with? Watching Dirty Love. Yeah. They're really good with that. So. Mm -hmm. They're not the official snack of Cat Bill and Big Shot Joe watching movies. But they sure do complement it well. They sure do, Bill. They sure do. We also enjoyed a little pineapple upside down cake, compliments of my friend Missy. Right, right. It was pretty good. It was tasty. Leftover from Super Bowl party yesterday. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs, by the way. Yeah, man. Big ups. First time in 50 years. They deserve it. You guys did a good job. <laughs> so anyways, I'm good, folks. You get a chance, you get the opportunity. Give Dirty Love a try. And if you know me and you live close by, I just might let you borrow it. To watch for yourself. And each other. Yes, there you have it. <laughs> so uh, I feel like Jerry Springer in his final thoughts. Yeah. Take care yeah. of yourself. Yeah. And each other. Don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. That's it. Any um any closing thoughts on, on, on the movie here? Um other than I kinda wish they made another one because it was funny, man. I, I would have liked to seen a few of those. Yeah. You know, Dirty Love too. Jenny strikes back or something, you know? I don't know. Right, yeah. No, nah, just I mean those are it's funny. It's something that, I like seeing rare gems, you know, you just you know, hell, sometimes I'll walk into, or excuse me, when I, uh, when Blockbuster used to be a thing, now we're going with many years back, <clears throat> um, 
I used to love going in there and picking movies. Sometimes I would just pick the most random, obscure movies. And I'd surprise myself. Like, I hadn't heard of Tomcats. You know, yeah. the comedy Tomcats. And I don't think it was a major film in the movies. I do think it went to the movies, but it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't top tier. You know, it wasn't top budget film. So, I picked that, and I was like, shit, this is pretty damn funny. You know, so that, like that, you said pull that movie out, and Dirty Love, and I'm glad I did. I fought him, which uh, movie was going to be next, but this, this was, this was, yeah, this was well, this was good, I liked it. Have you ever seen Joe's Apartment? Joe's Apartment? You sound like you've never heard of Joe's Apartment. I've never heard of Joe's Apartment. Oh, man. Is that a movie? Yeah. Is it scary? No. Is it comedy? Yeah. Oh, do you have it? No. Then why the freak are we having this conversation, <laughs> Bill? You got me all stoked. I have Joe's apartment. Please, and you're nearby. Message Please us. Please let me borrow it. All right, right on. We also got something else coming, too, in the mail. Remember, I ordered that one movie. Which one was it? Uh, yeah, we were trying to come up with ideas of movies, and we... Found one online. Well, by just watching a trailer that was on the Dirty Love uh, DVD. Oh, Silence Becomes You. Silence Becomes You. It look, kind of looks like a thriller, suspense, you know. Supernatural kind of deal. Yeah. All I know is it involves a guy and two chicks. That's so. It's kind of a. You know, kind of like... Well, anyways, we'll talk about that when the time comes for that. <laughs> so, we're, we're getting way off course here. So. No, we're just new boot goofing. That's it, man. <laughs> oh. Such my bad. If anyone has ever <laughs> watched Reno 911, you might have caught that little reference. Just new boot goofing. <laughs> Silence becomes you. Yes, Bill, that is correct. I looked it up for you, buddy. Yeah, that one will be coming soon. It looked interesting. Looks like the type of movie that we would do. Yeah, it does. So, well, like I think the next one that um, we have planned coming for you is uh, banana split. the Banana Splits movie. I didn't even know Those this you existed. Were my age. Um, I'm 48. You may recall uh, a TV show that came on in the afternoons, weekday afternoons after mm -hmm. school, a little variety show called The Banana Splits. And it had the four costumed characters. There was the dog, the elephant, a monkey, and a, uh, a lion. You know, they were the banana splits, and they you know, just around, and they showed like little, little, little cartoon skits and stuff, and they did little skits. But it was just a beloved kids show. I watched every afternoon. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Well, somebody decided to turn it into a movie, and they made it a horror movie. And I am stoked to watch this. And uh, so. I'm just not sure how I feel about my beloved Banana Splits being made into murderous kill machines. But, uh... Do they play the song in the movie? Yeah! La 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 It's... Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll tell you all about it once we watch it. But definitely check into the next episode of Captain Bill and Big, Big Shot, Shot Joe. Joe. Watch, watch a movie, movie and, and you'll be able to see us review it. Yeah. Banana Splits. Yeah, and you know, just uh, too, we always, we have movie snacks, you know, sometimes it's popcorn, um, chips, sometimes we have delicious, delicious tasty tacos. King Crab. You know, some, uh, some uh, escargot. Some cool, some cool ranch tortilla chips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You Duck. got some good uh, some movie snack ideas too? Hey, give us some of those. Throw them in the comments. Make a thing. Suggest a movie. You know, <laughs> recommend some good 
movie watching snacks, maybe we'll choose your snack. Maybe we'll pick your movie. Yeah, you know? give us, message us, ask the three, two, one screw. Uh, you know, if we can review a certain movie you guys have yeah. that's obscure, you know, Captain we'll, Bill's, uh, you know, Facebook page or Big, Big Shot, Shot Joe's Facebook page. We're at Twitter at three two one screw. Uh, we have the email three two one screw at gmail dot com. So get at us. Many ways to contact us. Absolutely. Well, I guess that wraps it up for us tonight. I reckon so. We're uh, we're all dirty loved out. That's it, man. So, this is Captain Bill and Big Shot Joe telling you that we will be seeing you at the movies. Peace out.